But when we're talking about impact one, what really for me deconstructing the launch mindset is that I want to break it down into simple terms that mere mortals, and I'm raising my hand, you guys got to go to the YouTube channel because you can see us, you can see the jazz hands, you can see me raise my hands, you can see my expressions of when Cassie spits fire strategy. Um, but I want us to deconstruct that launch mindset for mere mortals of really setting an expectation of what most likely will happen, right? I think that the launch structure is based upon, and I don't wanna take anything away. This is not us throwing rocks at people who have done a really good job and have put in the work and have done all of the things that we're talking about doing right now. The only thing that I want to bring up is that we are not them. We, we everybody has to start with one. And we're challenging you to have that one conversation, which is a beautiful lead into, I wanted to share really my um, experience in implementing this. And I don't even know, I mean, advanced maternal age, don't quote me, three, four years ago, when I launched a program, it literally was through, I would do video on Facebook Messenger to people that I knew. This wasn't like creepy DMs and people I didn't know. And it's like, hey, Cassie, I know that you were dealing with this thing. Do you mind filling out this form and let's hop on a call? It's literally how the conversation started. I did the fun filters. I think I was sitting in my car waiting on Maggie while she was practicing. And people would fill it out and we would hop on a call. That helped me really, if we're gonna call it sales call, it helped me with a conversation. I had a baseline of where they were. I had the solution, which was the processes and systems and how to guide them to get them to where they needed to go. All right. So the, we're going to say beta was 497, uh, was not built out. The first thing that I always recommend to folks that they have that initial, like when someone buys from you, like what is the next step in that experience? How do you want them to feel? And so that's what I had built out. And I let them know, even in the conversation that we were having is that it's not built out, we're building out together. And this is kind of what it looks like. This is what I think it looks like. So I had done the work, I had organized the outline and actually I had connected with people because like I was sweating bullets and I connected with people who I thought were like in their zone and could contribute to the community. And all the responsibility was not on me, which made me feel good because what I was getting ready, I didn't even know. I didn't even know what I was getting ready to get into. I just knew that it was gonna happen in 12 weeks. That's what we were gonna do, right? Now, mind you, I'm still working, still homeschooling, and we're doing travel soccer. So travel soccer is like an eight hour drive one way on a weekend and then coming home late at night on a Sunday. All right. So I've painted that picture for you. Right. And people started saying yes. And I was like, well, this is really good. 497, 16 people said yes. So I made about $8,000. Right. People are paying me to build it out and prove out that my theory, my processes and systems work. And so I got myself being a process systems person. I had myself really in um, a good flow. The way things would happen, they would get an email on Sunday night. This is what was happening. I dropped the module and the checklist on Monday, and then I would follow up with a live call on Thursday. We did this for 12 weeks. Is it exhausting? Yes, it is exhausting. I mean, there's no, if you're going to build a course that way, yes, but I would rather build a course that way with my people than in a dark cave and launch to crickets. So the difference there was that uh, in deconstructing that launch mindset, it is that I was having conversations, which was making more and more confident, which has helped framing what it is I was actually going to be teaching. And in the process, it was fluid, fluid enough in my comma baby ugly sessions where I was getting feedback, where it was clear to me, but it was clear as mud to them. So it doesn't matter how I think about it, right? It's how they think about it and how they are going to go and implement. 
The other thing that I will say, and I'm going to pass the baton over to Cassie, is that um, the most important thing uh, in your day, like it, it's your business. It's not the most important thing to your clients, and it's not the most important thing to your students. It's what we live, we breathe, we eat, we sleep, like all of the things, our course that we're launching or our offer that we're launching, it's not to them. And so you as the expert, if you can make this so easy, i.e. not 12 weeks, for them to get quick wins when you have a touch point with them, that needs to be the goal instead of, I think I'm going to do 20 modules. I think I'm going to, it's going to take 12 weeks. I think I'm going to have to have 15, 60, 90 minute calls. And they're going to have to go back and watch all of these. Nobody wants that. I have actually been ticked off to purchase something that is a two hour call that is recorded available on YouTube that I'm like, it's not helping me. Help your people, build it with them, have them pay you. That's why I always say like service-based business owners are amazing. Their clients are helping them to discover what it is they're really, really good at. 